so to fix this issue we go to single notification.php and as you can see at this point where we are putting the links the one for comment is missing so let's copy the one with post because that's the closest to a comment so single post.php and then whatever the content id that is so it's literally the same actually so let me refresh the page and if i click now we get to see the comment but unfortunately the way it is like this i would be forced to write a post here and that would become a reply to this particular comment but adding replies will create a whole can of worms that i don't want to uh, go into so instead what we will do is we can display the comment but instead we'll put a button here that takes us back to the original post when we want uh, to do so okay and one thing i've noticed here is it says one person has liked this post so if you want to change that to this comment you can simply check to see if that particular post has a parent that is greater than zero then you can write comment instead of post so let me go back to well actually the reason this is here is because we are using the the single post dot php post dot php to view this comment and we are not using the comment dot php to view this okay so one trick we could do is let me go to so this is a single post.php so let's open single post.php where is it single post oh, there we go okay so if we go down here on single post.php we have include post.php there right so what happens if i let me go okay we're already on that comment let me come back here and then there's a comment.php there so instead what happens if i put comment.php let me save that and refresh okay so now as you can see some things actually work the only difference is that we we have we are looking for the variable comment instead of uh post i think or row is it all right so what we could do here is put an if statement So what I'm, why I'm doing this is to choose if instead of showing post using post.php because we may need to start editing and adding if statements in post.php to accommodate a single comment view. But instead of doing that, we could instead supply a comment.php here. So we can easily do that by checking what's going on inside row. So I will say if row parent if row parent is greater than zero, uh, or we can just say is equal to zero, something like this, then we know it's a post. But else we know it's a comment. So let me save that and let's refresh and it seems we have done something wrong oh because we are putting post on both so let me put comment here okay there we go so the only thing we need to do now is to let's remove these guys as well before we deal with those errors there that's a single error so it can easily be dealt with 
Okay, so this entire area here for the form and showing of comments over here is completely unnecessary. If this is a comment. So we will use this again if statement and let's put it right here. I'll put it inside its own uh, PHP tags like so. But here at the end, I'm going to add a full colon and close that. Copy this. So I want to reach this point right here and paste. So if it's equal to zero, this means this is actually required because this is a post. But here I'm supposed to say end if semicolon. And so at this point here, this also should not actually show. So I don't know what would happen if I move the end if to a lower location here. But first of all, I want to see which div this is. Okay, so that part ends with that. So I think it's good to do things uh, step by step. So I'm just going to use this here. So indent that. Oops, okay, there we go. So this works out here. And then let's do the same here. So that ends here. This div is for which one there? Okay, so it's just the next and previous button we don't need. So, great, I will put that there again. Push these inward and then copy that as well. Put it here and if. And refresh. Okay, so that's much better. Things have disappeared here that we don't actually need. That's good. All right, so also if comments are there, then we let them show, but if they're not there, we leave them here. So this is fine as well. So now the only thing we need to do is supply this comment variable because that's what it's looking for. So in order to do that, we we'll just come here so row user is okay, but then we just need to convert this row into comment. So I just need to move here and just say, I'll paste row, but then I will say comment is equal to row, just like that. And that solves the problem. Okay, so now we just need to put a button here that takes us to the actual main post. Now. In order to see the link, we just have to copy that here. Let me come uh, to... Hmm. I think we can put it down here. Where is this? Here where the form was supposed to be, so... Let me duplicate the end if, and then I will put an else statement, full colon, and bring it here. So at this point, I want to put a button. So I'm going to say, or maybe let me use the input like this of type button. And then let's change that value into something like uh, back to main post like that so let's refresh okay so somebody can click here to go to the main post hmm 
Okay, so we just need to provide a link here. So I will do just that now. I put an A tag, copy the bottom A tag and put it here. So of course you can actually style this uh, in any way that you want to make it look more the same way this one is post button so i can just maybe get the id here and paste it there so that uh, it gets the same style so refresh and you see there is the style which is not so good so let me add styles of my own and say width for example let's put it on auto and then let's tell it to float to the left let's see how that does okay so back to main post and we can also wait why isn't it because this thing is inside an a tag it's supposed to show me a uh... oh it's supposed to show me a hand so maybe that's in eh, we can put it there we can just say cursor pointer like so now for the link so the link here will be single underscore post dot php question mark id is equal to and then we're going to put an id here php echo the id let's close those tags oops now i'm confused what i have done okay so echo that's part of that so like so now what are we echoing here we're echoing what's inside the row but the parent this time like so so let's give it a spin and see what's happening so the id is equal to empty which is should not be the case and that's because i have this over here let me move that quotation to cover the entire section here great okay so now when i click it takes me to the actual post where the comment belongs so let's go back and back so there we go like to your comment click the click back here okay so this is uh, awesome the only thing i've seen here is one person liked this post this is on comment.php so it should be liked this comment so right in here there should be a word that we have to change okay like let me search it search for it somewhere here that's where it might be liked this post right so let's change that to comment since this is comment.php like this post let's change that to comment as well this one right here as well comment okay and this one as well comment i think that actually covers all of them pretty good okay so one person like this comment this comment and so on very very nice so let's go back to notifications and try one more time so you see this here this is the comment and then back okay so like to comment all right so this is great so now i can click here to see who actually liked the comment and it's actually true somebody liked this comment here very very nice now since uh 
comments cannot be commented on they can only be liked so this is all we can do for the comments at the moment all right so i'll see you in the next video